think uh, association have a very important role to play. Uh, association have experience, like uh, in Europe we have experience about uh, doing certification with alternative refrigerant like ammonia, CO2, uh, hydrocarbons and the new alternative refrigerant, synthetic refrigerant that will come. In Europe we are focusing on uh, toxicity, flammability and high pressure of this refrigerant to do the best because uh, the technician handle this refrigerant uh, uh, safety. Uh, in fact, uh, technicians need more training uh, to update their skills and uh, to, uh, uh, to avoid accident using this refrigerant. I think um, certification is the only method to arrive to a minimum requirement, to a minimum level, to be able to handle with care this refrigerant and to have uh, the best for our sector. These refrigerants need a very good uh, practice, they need the practical and theoretical training. Uh, it's important that the technician handle the roof care uh, refrigerant with the proper equipment because the equipment needs to be updated to be used with the new alternative refrigerant. We think that it is important to have a link between the technicians and the associations because it's the only way for the technician to be updated, to, be, uh, to have received all the information about uh, the knowledge but also about the latest uh, uh, regulation, latest laws that are in the uh, le uh, local, regional and uh, worldwide because uh, legislation are uh, moving fast, knowledge is moving fast and uh, the technician needs to be updated and the association can help to uh, remain updated. The formal sector is a big problem. We have to um, uh, arrive also to uh, this uh, informal sector and to make it achieve the minimum competence for handling this new refrigerant. Uh, we need to um, show uh, the informal sector what are the um, dangerous parts uh, of uh, this job, what are uh, the best uh, practice for handling this refrigerant with care and uh, we, we need to show them that uh, they need to be competent and to achieve the uh, minimum requirement for handling this refrigerant. Uh, these refrigerants are uh, flammable, uh, toxic and uh, they have high pressure. So if they are not uh, well prepared, we can have an uh, accident because the informal sector is the one that uh, can be more easily involved in accident. And if one accident occurs, we don't want that all the sector be affected by this accident and uh, the legislation to be changed because one accident uh, occurred. So we want to uh, improve uh, we want uh, to go to the authority refrigerant that are good for the environment. We want uh, uh, to arrive to more friendly uh, refrigerants, uh, and this is very good. But we need to address the informal sector, uh, especially in the developing countries, because we do want that uh, for the informal sector to make uh, accident, all the sector, not only the informal, be affected.